hey Sonny here um, just finished a video on still loving you by scorpions I figure I want to do one on rush uh, went to see rush several weeks ago uh, one of my favorite song is red bachetta by by uh, by rush and I figure it's really good to uh, just go over the beginning part uh, it's good practice for harmonics uh, so the harmonic uh, let's quite go let's go with the technique first to play the harmonic let's take the 12th fret of the G string as an example, uh, you slightly, I use my uh, ring finger, and in this case, I place over the 12th fret, but what I do is I place over the wire, like almost between 12 and 13th fret, the silver wire, You're barely touching the string with my, uh, with my ring finger barely touching the string you pluck it with your pick as soon as you pick the pick this pick the note you let your hand go uh, you can do that all every string again you barely touching the string between this 12 and 13 fret you can do it on all the strings on 12 fret barely touching the string and you just pick it and let it go So for you, for beginners, if you've never done harmonics before, this is good practice. It's good to start with 12th fret. Again, pick it, touch, barely touch the string, pick it, let go of your finger. So once you get that down, you can play the 7th fret with your index finger. Again. Is uh, not exactly over seven fret, kind of in between seventh and eighth on the wire. <laughs> barely touching the string, you uh, start from the A string. Again, uh, barely touching the A string, of the seventh fret, between seventh and eighth fret. Actually, you pick it, you let go of your index finger. You can do it all the way down. All right. Uh, if you get those two down, you can do the fifth fret, do the same thing, harmonics. Again, pick, relate, release your finger. Now, the, uh, some harmonics are harder to play. In this particular song, Red Barchetta, there's a ninth fret harmonic. Uh, at the A string position, between 9 and 10. On well, this one, you gotta pick a little harder. You steal your ring finger over ten, 9 and 10. Actually, take that back. I should be, instead of right on the wire, on the ninth between 9 and 10th, move back just a little bit. Almost at the very end of 9th fret. Again, you got to pick a little harder with this one. Pick it against your finger, barely touching the string, and let go. Again, that's, a, that's, that's probably the hardest, uh, one of the hardest harmonic you can play. Okay, um, so the notes are the harmonic. The first part and play for you first. Alright, so what I'm doing is I use my ring finger on the harmonic on the 12th fret on the G string. And then seventh fret on the A and D string. Use my index finger, and then use my ring finger again on the twelfth fret on the A string. You just repeat that again, slowly. fret on G, 7 on the A and D, 12th fret on the A, repeat, and the next part goes like this, so 
So the harmonic is 9 fret on the A, and then 7 and 5 on the G string. And a 7 on the D string. And a 9 again on the A string. And a 7 and 5 again on the G string. And a 7 fret on the B string. So slowly again. Again, 9 fret on the A. 7 and 5 on the G. 7 on the D, 9 on the A, 7 and 5 on the G, 7 on the B. The trick is we want to play clean once you play the harmonic, you got to mute it when you play the next harmonic. So the two notes won't rain out so you get that cleaner sound.